Hello students, I am Neeraj Pamaniya, PGT Biology from Atomic Energy Central School in Dhar. Uh, today we are going to learn about uh, family Liliaceae. So students, we are going to learn about uh, morphological characters of family Liliaceae and uh, here are uh, I'm having some examples which I have uh, grown in my garden and with the help of this uh, let me explain you this is the common lily, lily plant and same is here the newly grown lily plants and this is one succulent which is uh, aloe vera you all know very well so very common plant in our garden so let me describe you the plant its morphological characters first of all have a look here these plants have the fibrous root modification as it is a, a characteristic feature of all the monocotyledonous plant so the fibrous root system this is very common example of family Liliaceae Allium sepa and here also you can see this fibro fibrous root modification system and just after there is a stem and uh, this stem is a modified bulb and uh, these are the modified leaf so this modification is underground modification of a stem and some of the stem like here in a common lily lily plant these are well modified as bulb in some cases there are corm or rhizome also like an asparagus uh, next part is of its shoot system which includes uh, since the plant is monocot and this is the leaf with uh, parallel venation so these are the leaves with the uh, parallel venation and uh, these are ex stipulate uh, with this limited resources I am explaining this because this is not the season of uh, lily to bloom with and uh, here, here is the newly grown lily and uh, here I have uh, inflorescence which is uh, which I have uh, collected from spider lilies. Floral characters in lilies as uh, here uh, the inflorescence type is aggregation of monochasial cyme in umbilate form and born on uh, a leafless uh, scape. Flowers are uh, bracteate or ebracteates uh, in complete flower in this case. Uh, floral description I'll uh, describe during uh, dissection part. Fruits in lilies are uh, generally in capsule or berry type. Uh, this is uh, the young fruit it's developing as berry. Floral uh, description and dissection requirements are we need a flower, lily flower, blades, needles, scissors, and forceps. A lily flower is uh, a bracteate flower with a pedicel, so it is pedicellate, complete, bisexual, actinomorphic, hypogynous, trimerous and cyclic. As you can see both androsium and gynosium are present, hence it is a, a bisexual flower. You can see the pattern of androsium six stamens arranged in two walls of three each and so polyandrous uh, filaments adnate or adnate uh, to tepals you can observe here this is uh, arranged arrangement of uh, androsium as uh, they are located in association with tepals 
perianth six tepals arranged in two whorls of three each gamophilus below flower is a trimerous gynoecium three carpels syncarpus ovary superior trilocular usually with two ovules in each locule placentation is axile style simple stigma trilobed
now let me describe the floral formula uh, see flower uh, having bracts so the flower is bracteate actinomorphic bisexual flower as i described earlier perianth the arrangement of tepals it is a uh, in two walls 3 plus 3 each so perianth 3 plus 3 androsium as they are adenate and therefore uh, same as uh, arrangement 3 plus 3 gynosium whereas ovary is superior and uh, it is uh, gynosium with three carpels ovary superior so we will place a bar below it and uh, it is sync corpus so we'll place it in brackets now let us uh, understand the structure of uh, the transverse section of ovary for that uh, you require a flower and uh, we will make the transfer section by dissecting this so let us do that